Dick. Vice President. How are you, pal? Thanks for swearing at me. I tell you what, easy to swear at you. We've got news. The Rashid, Rashid Sanuk is now the Prime Minister. You're trying your breast, but it never feels like enough. What a stupid son of a bitch. But guess what? We got a lot to do. You gotta say hi to me. We go back a long way. She was 12, I was 30, but anyway. This woman helped me get an awful lot done. Anyway. Well, I'm sick and tired of smart guys. I'm sick and tired of ordinary people being fleeced. I'm tired of being quiet. Where I'm sick and tired. I'm just sick and tired. We have this notion that somehow if you're poor, you cannot do it. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Wealthy kids, black kids, Asian kids. No, I really mean it, but think how we think about it. I'm sorry to take so long, guys, but everybody knows I like kids better than people. I like kids better than people. Everybody knows I like kids better than people. Look at them. Now, very important thing I told my daughter and granddaughters, no serious guys are 30. Okay. <laughs> no what? No serious guys till you're 30. Don't keep that in mind. <laughs> People are waiting for relief. I got them $1.9 trillion relief so far. They're going to be getting checks in the mail that are consequential this week for childcare. A lot has been happened already, number one. Number two, I'm going to fight like heck. So she mind them. I wrote the bill on the environment. Why would I not be for it? Guess what? Employers can't find workers. I said, yeah, pay them more. This is an employee's, employee's bargaining chip now. What's happening? They're going to have to compete and start playing hardworking people a decent wage. Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Vice President. I think you know how much it means to me to have you swear me in today, and I thank you. Trust and confidence. I've got a lot of thanks to give out here. First and foremost to my perfect wife, Stephanie, my wonderful son, Will, and my daughter, Ava, already mentioned. And you guys can sit in the edge of your wife. If you, if you, I, I don't want you to have to stand all along, but, but it's up to you. By the way, he gave me permission to touch him. I, I'm just kidding. Expand your capacity is through the partnership that we have, the federal and state government, um, along with local governments. Uh, this, this issue is ongoing each year, as we have discussed. It gets worse. It affects real people. Thank you, Boris. And I want to thank... Uh, that fellow down under. Thank you very much, pal. Appreciate it, Mr. Prime Minister. No matter what their cost, two, 10, 12, 15, whoop, stepping on them. There's a, it's black, anyway. This is boring, boring, boring. Isn't this boring, boring, boring? Charlie, this is boring. Come on. I call on you to commit to concrete actions to stop the destruction of this magnificent planet. This conference is one of the most important meetings in history. On behalf of We the 15, I ask you. Please welcome my minister of Italy, Mario Draghi.
And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that, 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 that turn uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down so it was straight and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. His biceps are big as my calves. Look at this. <laughs> there, there's a man. I hope we're on the same side. He's Russian. I don't care who he is. He's got some real biceps. We call them guns. <laughs> Thank you. Bruh. At the end of such a momentous event, the word thank you seems kind of inadequate. On the steps we've taken, he said, and I quote, the combination of private enterprise and government working together has been really successful. He went on to say, all the way through the supply chain, there's a lot of innovation. Because of the actions we've taken, things have begun to change. End of quote. In the past three weeks, the number of containers sitting on docks, we're going to seize their yachts, their luxury homes, and other ill-begotten gains of Putin's kleptocracy. Uh, uh, yeah. Kleptocracy. The, klep the guys who are the kleptocracies. <laughs> Bruh.